On our little farm in the city, we've been having a coyote problem. After a few chicken losses, we decided to go ahead and get ourselves a guard dog for the farm. And while Salem, our giant schnauzer, has done great with all the training we've presented her with, and she's definitely protective of our little acre, we've recently heard that a pack of coyotes have been hunting in the area, and it's made us nervous to let Salem go at it alone. It's been a bit of a conundrum, and you guys have given us so many good suggestions, like llamas, emus, barbed wire, electric fencing, motion sensors, and after a lot of thought, Kevin and I finally decided on the perfect solution. This room. And you gotta leave. <laughs> so, uh, even though Ethan's idea of having a dinosaur emu was really great, uh, we decided to go with this. <laughs> this bundle strong. of energy. <laughs> I know. We decided to get it. We decided. Oh, his little boy. Oh. He came out. He came out. Okay, go get Lydia and go get Salem. Oh, he's meeting Minnie. <laughs> Minnie, do you like the puppy? Look at their tails both going off. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> oh, oh no. Me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Do you love it? Oh, Look at Minnie god. wagging her tail. Well, where's Salem? Oh, Salem. Oh. Okay, go get. Come on, Salem. What's that? <laughs> oh, What's that, Salem? Oh my goodness. Look at her little tail going off. Salem's tail is so happy. Okay, we're really excited about this puppy because we made sure to get one that has a higher drive. He's a male and he is scored higher as being fearless, which can be a bit difficult when you're raising a puppy, but we figured go big or go home, right? We really need a dog that's going to um, have a lot of dominance and bolster up Salem. We definitely don't want like a more submissive scared dog. So we think that combined with the fact that giant schnauzers tend to be really great at protecting, uh, we think that it's gonna be a good situation here. Get him, Salem. Arr, 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 arr. We're also gonna potentially do a live wire or hot wire at the back of our fence. That's gonna be a little bit trickier to figure out. Right now we're gonna just um, focus on raising this little guy and thinking of a name. Oh. All right, so the only problem is we have no idea what no. to name this little guy. With Salem, it was easy. We thought of Salem and it made sense. Yeah, totally. But we with this one, we're some, kind of stuck. Something strong, like Ramses, right? No. That's his that's his sire's name. So right. something strong and tough. Because if he has a not wimpy. tough And how is he gonna attack the coyotes? Yeah. The coyote's not gonna be scared of a wimpy named dog. He wants to run. I like Tobias. <laughs> <laughs> Lydia, come say your favorite. Get over here. Lydia. <laughs> uh, What's your favorite? I'm on the fence right now. Probably, I mean, I like Tobias too, but I like it more Toby. Okay. Like Toby yeah, that's cute. Like that's cute. She wants the stick. Just give her the stick. No, that's my stick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> he loves leaves. <laughs> He's figured out how to drink from the pond and eat the plants. Nice. Oh my goodness. Cutest little poopies. All right, so both dogs are all over Danelle right now. Oh, what a cute little poopy. I know. No one 
you have an idea and then that idea pees it all over and <laughs> wakes you up really early. Yeah. Hey, that's not, we don't. <laughs> Give me that. Give me that. He's really good at being an alarm clock and delivering shoes. <laughs> really good at that. We forgot about the puppy newborn stage a little bit and it's kind of hard. Yeah, I think we were really smart to do this right when we're in the middle of all these projects and we're about to have oh, yeah. a ton of baby goats. Yeah, that's, that's gonna work out yeah. perfect. But we still got projects to do. <laughs> we still gotta do it, so. Oh, well. This will be fun. <laughs> what a good delivery boy. Oh gosh. How you doing today? You look happy. Are you okay? <laughs> Snack time. Time for a farm meeting everybody. Come on. Oh, here you go. You like those, remember? All right, Olive gets one too. Let's see if anybody over here wants one. You get one. Sorry, Willow, reach. There you go. Daphne gets one. Hazel, oh, Luna wants another one. There you go, Luna. Where's Silly? Look what I got for you, your favorite. Good job, you get a couple of them. Well, this is a bit of a construction zone as the boys get finished with the shade structure and move on towards the milking station expansion. So it's a little bit crazy over here. We've got to lock the does all up so that we can actually get any work done. But of course they've got to have their weekly Brazil nuts because most of them love them. You could start a business because I've made you expand and build so many shade structures. Look at this. Look yeah. how good you're doing. And I look really good. <laughs> you look really <laughs> my, tired. My clothes and my hair. The good thing we have Ethan here because he is a good help. Yeah. This concrete, it's going to take forever to dry because it's so wet out there. So probably a couple weeks before it even dries. It actually was pretty easy though because you just had to set the two posts and then basically build the frame, right? A little bit of welding. Did you film any welding? I don't see. Oh, there you go. There you go. You're such a good welder in your shorts. Yeah. <laughs> hey, as long as you wear the jacket, that's where the sparks are, is up high. And you guys, you know what else he did? Mm. He matched the roofing color. Oh yeah, that was Which was, was hard. really hard to do. Yeah. Because we had to search around to find the exact color that we bought years ago. So, but look how beautiful this is when it comes together. Yeah, the metal roofing is really good. I like it. It's really easy to do. It's expensive kind of now, but. Well, I think it's beautiful. Yeah. So we can check the shade structure expansion off our list. And next up is going to be the milking station All expansion. Right. Meet a goat for the first time. See that? Okay. <laughs> The training has begun. We've got to get him to meet all the animals and get comfortable with all the animals. We've got to do leash training. We've got to do crate training, obedience training. And this is why it was so important to us to get a puppy because we have to do a lot of specific training to make him safe around all of the animals and obedient to us. It's a lot of work. So this little guy is gonna have lots of fun learning how he's supposed to behave. So give us a name though. We need a good name. We still haven't decided. It doesn't have to be magical. Salem is sort of magical, I guess, but that's not why we chose it. We just liked the name of it. <laughs> really, it needs to just be something strong and good for a little, little crazy guy like this. 